And uh, one thing you have to know about Ethiopian food is uh, you come into a fork free zone. <laughs> so we have to use our hand. This fork is... free zone. So one of the good thing about uh, Ethiopian food is you have to use your hand. You have to start practicing. I mean, if we see, you know, almost like 75% of American food, we have to use our hand. They say burger, pizza, chicken wings, except a spaghetti. So I keep asking uh, a question. <laughs> uh, you know, customers, they usually ask a fork. And I, I say, you know, why don't you use your hand? Because, you know, usually we eat by our hands. They don't have any answer for their questions. So no worries. We can get you a fork. I'm not trying to scare you. So, but just let you know that if we, we are happy if you are using your hand, you know. So that's uh, the traditional way of eating. Some of the uh, samples that we put on the table, you know, how you eat it, the, 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 the bread I and mean, the food. You tear the injera bread, which is a spongy bread, then you scoop down the, the, the food, which is a stew, then eat. So, let me share with you one a good experience. I have one customer. He brings his kids to here every dinner. Then uh, he, he told me one day, the reason I'm bringing my kids here is because it's just like kind of punishment. When we eat at the dinner table, they are using you know their cell phones. Since they are using their hand here, <laughs> they don't use it. So. I told them, you know, make sure the kids are telling their, you know, their friends at school, which is good advertising, you know. So, uh, yeah, the, the food is ready, uh, you know, we can't ready to eat, uh, unless you have any questions. Anybody have any questions to start? What is injera bread? In, injera is like a, a spongy bread made from a, a grain called uh, teff. It's very tiny grain, you can get it at the whole food store. It's gluten-free, uh, iron-rich. That's why a lot of Ethiopians are runners. So, it has full of calcium and iron. So spongy bread, it has bubbles. It's, it's, it's close to like the Indian uh, dosa, dosa bread. But our one is a little bit soft and uh, spongy. So. Do you use the bread, the injera, do you use it for just stews, or do you use it for all of the food, including the vegetables? We use uh, injera uh, uh, bread like utensils. Utensils like a fork and a spoon. Just tear the bread, scoop it, then eat. So uh, everything, all the dishes are eaten by injera bread. <laughs> As the food comes out, you're going to have a, a tray with an assortment of things, and Z is going to explain everything on the, the tray. Uh, yeah, you may need it. <laughs> I'll just get started when you're ready.